Hi everyone. My name is Heather Toms Chesley. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in the Parkville, Maryland area of the United States, which is just close to Baltimore. Thank you so much for hopping on today. I'm hoping you're enjoying the day so far. For those of you who are joining us Saturday, June 19th, it's uh, the Multicultural Stamping Day. I'm very excited to be part of this. And for those of you in my VIP Facebook group, you'll be watching this as a replay on a Wednesday night um, when I'm not in town. So thank you all for watching. I represent Scotland today in the, in the um, stamping presentation. I actually visited Scotland when um, 20, 20 years ago. I spent for a week and a half there. My friend from college lived there and she invited me over when my daughter was little. And so I had the, the joys of living with a Scottish family for a week and a half. She was right outside of Edinburgh and her family were out in the rural countryside. So I not only got to see the city, but we drove the countryside to see where her parents lived. So it was a wonderful time. Very, very, very green. It was misting or raining almost all the time, which is why everything's so green, but it was very beautiful. I really enjoyed my time visiting my friend. It was such a lush, lush area. It was just beautiful. The people were friendly and it was wonderful. So I had a really great time. So when we could choose a culture to represent, I chose Scotland. And I will be using um, the digital download that Stamping Up has available now for everybody for free. It'll be available until next May on our website and I'll tell you how to find that. You can download it yourself for free. Use all the images I'm using today. Um, so you don't have to buy anything. It's a great way Stamping Up's offering this for diversity for our community members. So hope you check out that digital download, download it to your computer and save it like I did. And then you can print off as many copies as you want and as many copies as you need. I will be demonstrating that tonight for Scotland. So I'll turn the camera around and we'll go from there. Um, hope you don't get seasick. Hold on. We're just getting set uh, set it. Let me adjust my light so you can see. So this is the digital download that I printed off. It's 14 pages and it has different images that you can, um, different sayings, when we unite together, create light, we light in people's hearts, we belong together in different colors, in different colors. Flowers, different sayings, um, pumpkin pie hang in there. Here's for you through thick and thin, different cultures. And this is the images that I'm going to be using. And so I printed this out in black and white on cardstock. And I'm using these four images. And so ahead of time, I went ahead and started coloring the images. So of course, Scot Scottish lore is the thistle. And so I've colored the, the daffodil in pale papaya and daffodil delight. The rose I've colored in polished pink and then of course a shamrock. So I'm using the two fresh freezes. I'm going to start with the light and I'm just going to add some color. I love the alcohol based stamping up markers. They evaporate quickly and as the, the, the colors evaporate they leave the color behind. And then I'm also going to use the soft succulent and there are two ends to our markers. This is the brush stroke and I just like brushing on color. And I'm just going to do that and I'm going to just the more color you the more layers you add the more colors you get and I'm going to go back with my dark this time I'm going to use my dark fresh freesia and the tip I'm going to go over some of those lines to give it depth you can see how that just adds some highlight then I'm going to take the dark soft succulent if I can get it off and I'm just going to add some some caught some some darker colors so that's my four images I'm going to take my rectangular punch with the images I call this a postage stamp I know the proper name but I can't think for it I'm going to open up my punch and I'm going to punch them out I'm just going to line it up One image, two, 
and I'm going to use all four. You could go ahead and print out this four times, and you could use four of any one image. But I decided to use one of all four. And so there's, there's my image. And then what I've done ahead of time before today's video is I ran through, this is fresh freezer through the embossing folder, the 3D embossing folder. I love the embossing folders. They give us a nice raised image flat on the inside there. Before I adhere my images, I want to go ahead and put some ribbon on it. This is the fresh freezer coordinating um, ribbon. I love that stamping up colors all match with each other and you can get the ribbon and the markers and the paper and it all matches. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this into four quadrants. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to use my tear and tape. I love tear and tape. It's two way. It's a great way to not only adhere things, it'll also take it, make it stick to the card. And then two more pieces, and then we're ready. And if it's not perfect, we can wiggle it a little bit at the end. And then ahead of time, I cut and scored an eight and a half by 11 piece of crumb cake. And this is four by five and a quarter. So I'm gonna just take the edges off. If you can't get one end, I often start at the other end. Just peeling them off. Sometimes it's an exercise in patience to get these off. But you could use your take your pick tool, which has the pointy end. All right, we'll go to another corner. We'll come back, let it sit for a minute. This always happens when you're doing live videos. Murphy's Law says that you're gonna have difficulty, but you know, stamping is what happens. We always have things that go wrong. We're, even as demonstrators, I've been doing this, I started 20 years ago. Um, I came back to being a demonstrator two years ago, but I've been stamping for 20 years. There's always, there's always something goes wrong. So if it just doesn't get stuck, rub it down tight and then come back. There we go. There we go. So I've got my card and center it up a little bit, straighten it up and then just line it up. And then I have my four images. And I'm just going to put dimensionals on them. Just dimensions. I love dimensions. It gives it such height. It changes the look of a card just with a few simple things. And it's great for an adhesive as well. So I'm going to do this and this this and then of course the fresh freesia is the color I use for the thistle which is why it coordinates so nicely with the paper and the ribbon and then all I have to do is put it inside I could use the sayings that was part of it I could use the chin up, what wonderfully fabulous new fancy a cuppa. So I could use all these different sayings and I'll show you some cards I made before today's video where I use the sayings that was on the digital download. Now I could tie a bow here if I wanted to, I'm just gonna leave it plain. So that's the one card. And then I did a similar card, this time I tied it with the bow in the pale papaya with the matching pale papaya ribbon. And that's the color that I colored the thing. And then I did another time matching the polished pink with the polished pink paper and the ribbon. Chin up, it'll all come out in the wash. So that's another way of making the card. And then this is just the whole, the whole image. Left and four, see, it just overlaps. I cut it out 
and this is a strip of black piece of paper just put on the top and then this is a similar card to what I did but I just cut out um, in the crumb cake and stamped it on mounted it on the fresh freezer so these are just the different cards I came up with for Scotland just some different fun things from the digital download so again to find the digital download you would go to stampingup.com stampingup.com you would go then to check out sales and special it's an icon at the top of the screen and then scroll down and you'll see free creative download click on that and you'll be able to download the digital download for free to your computer you'll be able to uh, print lots of images you can color them I hope you guys are having a fabulous day at Multicultural Stamp Day. I hope you enjoyed my presentation on Scotland and the thistle. Um, I enjoyed my time when I was in Scotland 20 years ago. I hope you have a fabulous day crafting, celebrating diversity with each other's backgrounds and our heritage. I hope you have a fabulous day. Keep stamping. Spread cheer by sharing your cards one card at a time. Let's spread cheer and joy together. Have a fabulous day. Take care. It was a pleasure seeing you. Be well.